Hi everybody, welcome back. It's October 26, 2021, and today we're going to take a somewhat brief look at all of those astonishing dunes that we've been looking at uh, on this channel in the past. Um, they're all so different, they're all so beautiful, um, and yet no matter how different they are from each other, they're all the same. In other words, they're all built exactly the same. There's no difference between these crazy ones here with uh, these stripes on them or the shiny ones. Whichever ones you want to look at, doesn't matter. They all have the same exact structures making up these giant dunes. And it's, it's hard to grasp. I mean, I've mentioned it before in the videos. It's just so difficult to uh, look at this stuff and really take it in and I've doubted myself on many occasions and I I still have to come back to the fact that you know it's real um, and the thing is I, I guess it's it's kind of frustrating because you know I, I consider myself pretty smart and uh, and most most people are pretty smart I mean as a society and as uh, where we are today compared to where we were a hundred years ago, I mean, we've we've really gotten to be very very smart. Um, you know, starting with uh, Einstein and uh, of course splitting the atom and the space race and uh, computers, of course, and all of this has has you know sort of come to a head at this point in our history and. And we're pretty darn smart. And so when we look at these pictures of all of this incredible civilization with the amount of structures, uh, just an overwhelming amount of structures, almost like uh, pebbles on the beach, um, it, 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 it frustrates us because we're pretty smart and we just, can't understand how this can be and it's always the same questions you know it's the infrastructure that's a really huge one the food uh, and one of the biggest ones I came up with was uh, building materials I mean where do they get all these building materials so you know regardless of how smart we are when you think about it think about how smart we might be say a thousand years from now a thousand years is really not that long I mean as far as history goes and the timeline goes so a thousand years from now if we could keep from killing ourselves uh, just try to imagine what we would know I mean think about what we've learned in the last hundred years and then what we're gonna learn in the next hundred years and then what we're going to learn in the next hundred years after that, all the way up to a thousand years. That is uh, some pretty serious knowledge. And then if you go a step further, maybe several steps further, uh, 50,000 years. I mean, how much are we going to know in 50,000 years? It's, you know, we don't, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what we don't know. Uh, and really that's kind of the point of this video, but we just don't know. But try to imagine, or even 100,000 years. It gets to be crazy after that. So anyway, what about a civilization that is at least 200 million years old? 200 million years old at a minimum. What do they know? Do you think they might know a little more than us? I mean, I really would think that and civilization, civilization 200, 000, 200 million years old would know all of the mysteries of the universe. There'd be nothing left to find out. I don't think. Uh, all of this talk that we've had about, um, you've heard about portholes and uh, wormholes and different dimensions and different universes. Um, 
this is all theory for us, but if these things do exist, then I guarantee you these people are all over it. And that makes me think of, well, I mean, other than just the fact that they they have this accumulated knowledge of 200 million years or more, I think it's more, um, that we just can't fathom what they think, what they know. How could we? I mean, how do we know what we don't know? And you think about how these people survive in this infrastructure issue. Who cares? I'm, I'm done trying to figure that out. I can't. I cannot figure it out because I don't know everything they know. Uh, even though I recognize the buildings, uh, how it got there and what sustains them, I don't know. Um, I think maybe that when they want to put a structure in place, that they don't go grind it out of the ground somewhere on Mars and, and build it up and, and prefab it and ship it over. There's hardly any ground left on that planet to do that. For sure, not on Venus. So, with their vast, almost godlike knowledge, you know, who's to say they don't just reach into another dimension and pull out a building that was made over there and plop it into place? Who's to say they can't do that? I mean, they can't do what's here already, right? As far as what we know, this is impossible. I can't believe my eyes when I look at these structures and these, this mass humanity. This is all impossible. Well, no, it's, it's real. It's right there in front of your face. So somebody knows something, right? <laughs> and uh, I guarantee you, uh, they know far, 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 far more than we've even dreamed of. And so they just reach into another dimension. They pluck out a building that was prefab made over there and put it in place and so on and so forth. Which brings me up to another issue. The reason why there's so damn many structures. I mean, really? Are they breeding that quickly? You know... Uh, I, I guess they don't go outside or not very much. So I guess they're stuck indoors all the time. Uh, and uh, maybe there's nothing else to do. I don't know. But there are, well, there, there's so many people and, and, and they got to have places to live, right? And this just never ends. Everything's always under construction. And I got to thinking about why there are so damn many people. And you know what? I could think of two reasons. They either breed like crazy, or, or I mean, well, two reasons, both with the same result. And maybe these people don't die. Do you ever think of that? I mean, 200 million years minimum advanced from us. Maybe they die, but maybe they live 2,500 years before they die. Maybe they live 1,000 years. Maybe they live more. They need all that housing. So those people never die, or they stick around a very, very long time. And the procreation continues. And it's not a problem. It doesn't matter if you have 45 kids because you're going to live for a very, very long time and we just need more structures. It's thick. And you look at these dunes and I wonder if somebody who was 100 years old, 1,000 years ago, who bought himself a new condo at the top of that dune, is now somewhere in the middle of it, 
thousand years have gone by. Structures have been steadily coming <laughs> and you get buried. So you start out on top of the world, you get a little old. Next thing you know, you're stuck in the middle. Uh, the whole concept of being stuck in the middle is another mind-blowing concept. Uh, again, it, it's all too much, isn't it? It's too much. It's too hard to understand, and therefore it must be fake. Um, I, I appreciate the vote of confidence from people when they say, well, you know, it's easy for this all to be faked, you know. Uh, oh, really? Easy? Okay. Uh, it's taken me three years how to use brightness and contrast. <laughs> That's about it. Um, so... Uh, Yes, I think people in a very concerted effort would be able to fake some of this, but, uh, you know, it might take you a, a year to complete one picture. I can, uh, I can produce picture after picture after picture. I'm an amateur, and I don't know how to, how to make those things. So, uh, so yeah, that's it. I think, uh, I think they're, they're so far advanced we can't understand and uh, and maybe they don't die, and that's why they need to keep building and building like Venus. It's completely covered with humanity. It's a thick mat. Now these dunes right here, these black dunes, uh, some of the most unusual because of the difference between the dunes and the surrounding ground, if you can call it that. But in this picture, the black dunes are, we can't get anything out of them. They're all smooth. But the ground in the, uh, in the middle, uh, the area in the middle is, of course, all white, is uh, the same thing. Just uh, a mass of humanity. And it's cool at the top, towards the 11 o'clock position, how the white structures get silhouetted against the black. Very, very cool. You can pick that out in a few places. But I'm not going to get into too many pictures. I'm not going to get into detail on all these. Just a couple pictures of each one. Uh, just enough to show you that these things are there. And not all of the pictures are good enough to really get very close on. And this is one of them, unfortunately. It's also one of the coolest ones there is. Um, I mean, it's just, look at that. Uh, it's just incredible. It's just so incredible. And to know that these are thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of structures in each one of these, it's just uh, mind-boggling. Here's another really beautiful dune, uh, one of the first ones I looked at. Look how it's sculpted and colored. I should say tone, the light tones and the dark tones. And then the... Uh, the uh, uh, tortoise shell look that it has as well. I mean, that's just really, really beautiful. A tortoise shell look is uh, created by individual lines or rows of dark buildings. And so many of these dunes, they just have their own look. I mean, just not only just the shape, but the colorations that they do. It just none of it really makes sense. Uh, it truly does not make sense. I don't think you can make sense. I don't think it was supposed to. I don't think it was designed to be able to make sense out of it. I think it's like trying to make sense out of an art project. It's just something they do. Um, and no doubt with no small effort. <laughs> now the planet is covered by really more than any the worm dunes and there are millions and millions of these worm dunes they're in every single uh, satellite picture whether there's a lot of them like these right here or just a few um, they are in, literally in every picture and uh, uh, so uh, they're not as interesting looking as the uh, as the other dunes um, but we have to talk about them because they are, <clears throat> excuse me, they are definitely here. Here's a close-up of some large uh, warm dunes. And you see how sometimes they connect together. Uh, 
doesn't happen all the time, but uh, in this case, you can see where they were connecting together. And this isn't really that great of a picture for this kind of a close-up, but uh, you still can see the structures or the right angles in the, uh, in the different shades. And the, uh, the straight line coming down the middle of the dune. Uh, I'm so tempted always to say, I don't know why they do that. And I don't. I don't know why they do it. It's, there's no way to know. There's no reason. Uh, again, it's another incredible amount of structures uh, oriented much like a street. And uh, we've had dunes with black blobs on them, white dunes with black blobs, and tortoiseshell look. Now we have these uh, black spots all over these dunes. And keep in mind that these areas in the darkness, these dark lines, presumably where the dunes go down and they, they meet at the bottom, that's all colored by buildings. It has nothing to do with light or shade, just like the, bright, the brightness here in these. It's not light. It's the way they're colored. Look at all these incredible, bizarre black dots. Uh, we have seen in a previous video what they are, but I've got some better pictures now. Uh, but, uh, I mean, all of the effort that they go through for this, I mean, I don't know, I suppose these are probably minimal effort compared to some. But you can clearly see the black structures in the circles and surrounded by brighter white buildings. I used to think they were surrounded by tall white buildings, but I think they're mainly just surrounded by bright white buildings. And there's absolutely no way to know why. I just about went off into that again. <laughs> Isn't that just something else? And I mentioned the other day that, uh, you know, if these pictures were all crystal clear, in other words, if these were the same pictures that they're looking at at NASA, I think it would almost be too much because it's almost too much the way it is right now. Looking at these uh, structures and how this is put together and just trying to get past the I can't believe it part is hard enough but once you get once you do believe it and you're looking at it it's just so um well you know it's alien that's for sure uh not only are they super far advanced they are also alien they are not from earth now these dunes look like waves on the ocean i mean you know, just another kind of dune, just another beautiful shape, uh, incredible symmetry. And then once again, of course, uh, all the same thing. I used to think that the structures were all perfectly the same height uh, and that therefore uh, they, it was sort of smooth, but it, it really is not that way. They, they, they're all similar heights. Some are a little lower, some are a little taller, but they're not all exactly the same height. So um, that's just something I had been thinking. And again, not all of the pictures uh, are good enough quality to, to give you a good close-up. Um, but ones like this one here, I, it was still a, a, a beautiful... Uh, sculpted dune and uh, I could get a little bit out of it enough to see that you you know that you know what's there uh, but uh, but anyway I couldn't get very close on that and again these dunes these uh, worm dunes that we see everywhere and then you may have noticed and I've talked about it only a little bit about some of these dunes look more not like worms but more like centipedes you know they have these uh, what look like <coughs> excuse me, what look like legs all going off to the side, you know, which of course they're not. And uh, I, I've never have really gotten into looking very closely at that. Um, we have a little insight in this video. Now here's a worm dune that's under construction. And uh, 
I don't think they ever really stop being under construction. Uh, I think they just continue to grow in size. But uh, you can very clearly see along the left-hand side of this dune, it's got, uh, they're filling it in in the way that they do. You know, there's a certain way they fill it in. That's how they do it right there. And the worm dune next to it, you can see the dark row of buildings down the middle, right? There's always that, that row down the middle or that peak where the sunlight supposedly is hitting. Um, you see that all the time. Here we have really very, very long uh, centipede-like dunes. Um, you know, and then these are a little bit different. These almost look like feathers. Um, kind of feathery looking. Definitely different than than all of the other dunes. I think these are dunes in the making. Uh, I think these are dunes in the very beginning stages. And by the way, this is not a very good picture. It's a heavily pixelated, uh, but you can still see. And I think that there are really quite a few very tall buildings in these areas here. But we do have to take into consideration that there that could be uh, affected by these pixels too. So uh, some of those tall buildings uh, could be, you know, pixels. Not sure. It's hard to tell. And then this uh, worm dune down here on the on the right, you can see a very dark line going down the middle of it. Um, this is a worm dune under construction. We're going to take a little closer look. Um, and uh, it, it almost looks like it's going to be one of those dunes that's uh, attached to another one, like those, those big dark ones that we looked at. It's a very, very busy place. Um, it's, it's almost hard to look at. But try and take the time and look closely. At, uh, at these structures and how they're all put together. Uh, it's a pretty cool picture, really. Very busy. And I debated whether I was going to leave this picture in. I actually was going to take it out, but I didn't. <laughs> um, and that picture is, shows the end of this, where this comes out. And right dead center are... are Groups of structures that have built up to look like one big building. You know, there's two of them there. You see that? Dead center. Very cool looking. And then all the structures to the left. It's all about structures, structures, structures. No matter what you have, no matter what you're looking at, no matter how strange a structure or a dune or something looks, it doesn't matter. They're all the same. They're all made up the same. Have a great day, everyone. See ya.